Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, one of my favourite cars of all time, one that I'm slowly restoring, mainly off camera. And um, the only reason I'm doing that is parts take so long to find cake delivery fit that I never really have enough to warrant a whole build video. So, but I wanted you to see this. So I thought now I've got enough parts in to actually do another video of an update of the car and that is my Kyosho Toms. Now, if you haven't seen the unboxing video, I'll put a link up here. But since then, I've managed to get hold of a reasonable amount of parts. So I thought I would just update you. When I got this car, it was missing quite a few parts. The main reason was that the budget required to buy a complete one is getting ridiculous. So even a parts car is actually really expensive. So it came with a few nuggets of gold with it, which was a brand new set of rims. Unfortunately, it, it was missing the center black section. Now, Kurosho rims are split into two, and then you attach one on each side of the tire but there should be a black band that goes with these so that you put that in the tire first and that's how it all compresses together. Now, I, they came with all the screws and they were brand new, but they were missing two of the front black bands. So if you put these wheels on without that black band, the tire doesn't really sit. It just flops around inside. So if you do see any online, make sure the tires are sitting nice and tight because it means that's missing. And then obviously the only way to find that black band is to try and source some new t uh, rims, which is what I had to do. Unfortunately, the only rims that I could get were rears. Now obviously rears are wider than fronts, but you can actually score and cut down the band to be thinner for the fronts. And you can do it to a point where you would never know. You basically score it, snap it around, sand it smooth, and it just works really well. So all my tires are now on the rims correctly. Didn't come with any tires at all, but I managed to source fronts off of eBay and rears I got from um, I got from somebody and they're like gold dust. Rear tires are almost impossible to get for this car. And these are actually brand new, all brand new. So I'm really, really chuffed because one of the hardest things to find for this car is a, a brand new set of tires. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, a few other bits and pieces that I found is I was missing the tray, battery tray clips. So I've got those. I actually got those off another car that I bought. So I was really chuffed because they didn't really cost me anything. They were in the bundle. Um, I've put a brand new bumper on it. And also new arms all round. So these are brand new unmarked arms. Um, one thing I need to try and address is that the underside has a few scuff marks, nothing too deep but I need to see if I can remove those. So if anybody's attempted to remove these, I don't know whether I can just wet sand it back, then lacquer it or what. So if anyone's got any ideas, put the comments below how I can try and remove some of these light scratches. It's not too bad, but obviously I would love to have a mint chassis, but then that's just never gonna happen really. But the underside's looking much nicer and uh, much more shelf queen-like. Um, it's going to need new shocks. These shocks have seen quite a bit of work. They're not original to the car, I don't think, that have been chunked around the tops. I have, I could swap them for another set on another car that I have, but ideally I'd like to try and source some replacements if possible. But again, very rare and they come up, they don't come up very often. Um, another thing that I've got a problem with is I have none of the body mount stays that should stick out at the back. Now I did find these, which is a Kurosha Part 1806, which is a quick body mount set. But that's, this doesn't look like what I've got on my other car. So uh, it was a bit of a pun because I wasn't sure. So whether I can actually fit these uh, to this car or not, I honestly don't know. I need to do a bit more research. But if you know about this 1806 quick body mount kit, um, please comment below uh, a link of how it works. Or if you have one on your car, can you take some photographs? Uh, that would be great because I really like to know. Otherwise, I'll have to try and source those little parts. So I'm missing those as well. Um, I managed to pick up aftermarket bodies because it came with no bodywork whatsoever. So I've got a brand new body set to do. And today I was just messing around with the top uh, belt cover and getting that to fit nicely. Now again, I'm missing all the screws and the hardware to do that. 
and that's quite a challenge because I want to use the correct screws that should be with this kit. So again, this takes time to try and find these. I don't just want to use any random nut and bolt. I want to find the correct ones. So things like that take a long time. Um, what else? So, uh, got to be decals. I'm really happy. These are MCI decals. Really, really happy with these. They are nice and sharp and they look brilliant. Um, I actually bought the whole set for all my cars and some of my cars actually have originals. So I matched them up and they're, they're pretty close. So I'm really happy with that. So over the next day or so, I'm gonna cut the body out, spray the bodies. They're not that complicated. They're just one color all the way through. Um, but most of it's the cutting out, bottom tray, then the bottom belt to cut out. Um, because the lines aren't that, very, aren't that clear on these bodies so you have to be take your time and they're quite intricate the way that they're cut because of the way you have to cut out the whole section for the uh, gear set so that takes a while but she's coming along and I'm really chuffed um, I've now put in a really nice motor um, this is the oh let me get my spare one where's my spare one here we go so for a car of this caliber I wanted to have a motor that would really suit it so uh, by chance I managed to have picked up and I'm lucky to have two Le Mans 480 Golds. One is completely mint in box and the other one is very close to mint but has been used. So I thought that would be a fitting motor to have in a car of this caliber. So I fitted that and it's pinion today so I'm chuffed and then I adjusted the slipper clutch as well and it's all doing exactly what it's supposed to. So I'm really really chuffed. So it's coming along um, I'll, the next video I'll do for this car is after I've painted up the body because I've got lots of painting videos. I'm pretty sure you must be sick of just seeing painting bodies, painting bodies and painting bodies. Um, then I need to think of what kind of electronics I want to put in this car. I want something relevant um, and I want something quite high end. So if you've got any ideas of the electronics I should be looking to put into this car, um, put a comment below of the electronic speed controller not so much the servos but um yeah steering servo that kind of thing um of what you would expect to see in this car that's kind of period that would be great uh, apart from that just working on the body um i don't think i need any other parts apart from that i've luckily got the servo uprights so i can put a servo in this car that's not too much of a problem um, and that's pretty much this card done. So hopefully the next time I uh, show you this will be much further down the road and it will be looking amazing. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.